Have you ever wondered where the best base locations are in Project Zomboid? The ones that could make your survival game go from average to epic? Well, you're about to find out. In this video, we're uncovering 10 base locations that will elevate your game to the next level. Make sure you watch to the end because I sure do have some exciting ones for you today. First up on our list is from a viewer suggestion, the hardware store in West Point. This location is across from the gas station. It may be a really tough spot to set up at first, but as this viewer said in their comment, it's it's really promising once you clear it out a bit and set up some defenses. The hardware store on the ground level is commonly found with all the tools and nails you may need for building this place up into a heavily defended fortress. This choice makes an amazing location for a budding multiplayer or even superb survivors community just off Main Street Riverside. The gated community. You can build a couple airlock fence gates to ensure this location doesn't become reinfested after clearing it out and it could serve you for years. Remember, the key to a successful base in Project Zomboid is not just the location, but also how you fortify and manage it. Just please, no matter how you reinforce the base, remember to put the gates the right way. I know there are those of you who prefer more rural basing areas. This area has plenty of trees and easy access to fishing year-round. Ben's Cabin in the Woods While nobody knows where Ben disappeared to, he left his little piece of heaven unguarded and free for the taking. This cabin comes equipped with an old stove and can be commonly found with fishing gear in the crates inside of the cabin, all ready for your fishing journeys. Personally, in my past, I have been able to survive for a few years here successfully with no bites, lacerations, or even scratches. This option is for both newbies and the veteran alike, the Rosewood Fire Station. This fire station is in the heart of Rosewood and it gives you a fairly decent chance at finding those beloved fire axes and fire gear that makes really good vanilla armor. It can be built up fairly well to make an easily defended spot in a town that isn't nearly as busy as Maldra can be at times. In a in the previous video, we touched on the Rosewood Prison. This would make an excellent basing location while you clear out the prison. Are you enjoying this video so far? If you are, make sure to leave a comment where your favorite location is. Your ideas might make it into a future video. And while you're at it, why not like and subscribe? Next up is another submission from a fellow viewer. The radio tower in the middle of the forest that is west of the Riverside Warehouses. Its close proximity to the Riverside Warehouses aids in plenty of accessible loot and there is a a storage unit nearby as well where you can hopefully find that generator you will be needing pretty soon. This radio tower is fully enclosed in two layers of chain link fencing for perfect protection that gives you a massive zombie free existence within the forested area inside. It's prime real estate for foraging, trapping, and maybe in build 42 some deer might get trapped inside as well. The only downside is there is no water for fishing, however with a bit of gusto and hard work a bridge can be constructed for safe crossing to an island that is south of the country club. Keep in mind there are a few holes in the outer fence, so make sure you patch those in quickly to make this prime location a safe getaway. As any Kentucky resident may tell you when you ask for groceries, they'll tell you just go to Gigamart. This grocery store chain is scattered all across the region with plenty of meat, fresh vegetables, toys, seeds, and plenty of other loot. It would take you days if not weeks to fully clear this place of all the loot it holds. So why not fortify it and make it your base instead? This grocery store chain often has a flat roof which you could open up access to for easy safe gardening and it has plenty of space for water barrels to boot. Downside of the Gigamart is that the builders didn't take survival into their design plans and left these gigantic open windows all over two sides of the building. You will have to fortify and block off these windows if you want a good chance of surviving here. Next up, just outside of Maldra, on the way to West Point, there is a gas station in Dixie. At the crossroads in the highway, this gas station provides as much gas as one survivor could need in the apocalypse. Its close access to a clothing shop provides lots of materials for leveling up your tailoring skills, and the used car dealership across the highway could provide some transportation options for you. If you can make it here quick enough, there's also Spiffo's Burger Joint that you can pill for a bunch of fresh potatoes, burgers, meat, and other foods from, provided you are quick enough to refrigerate it all. Just make sure to 
to test the meat for sneaky zombie viruses before you munch down. This next listing is perfect for the person who loves to build or the engineers among us. The abandoned community down the highway to the west of Riverside is bare bones. It's free real estate for those who love building and wanting a place to customize to their needs. This area needs a lot of work before winter hits however as the building is only framed in, which means you will have to have an axe, time, and plenty of skills to make this horror show a home ready to be lived in. Alternatively, if you aren't a big fan of building your own base from pretty much scratch, there are several closed-in homes here and even one home that is fully furnished and appears to even still have power on, if you're still in the beginnings of the outbreak as well. There's also an abandoned warehouse here that you could change around to suit your survival needs. These areas have the big bonus of being within spitting distance from a single pump gas station that is just off the highway which has a general store nearby it as well. The next one up used to be a place of laughter and endless entertainment, the March Ridge Cinema. This is a fairly large building with rooftop access so you could turn this roof into quite the rooftop garden, full of all your favorite foods from cabbages to tomatoes. Make sure you keep yourself stuffed on those cabbages. If you like keeping to the Hollywood themed bases, another good choice is the drive-in movie theater in Rosewood. It is right across the road from a fairly sizable fossil oil gas station which also serves as the town's sole bus stop. There is also lots of space for farming in this location. It has high fences surrounding it with only two gaps in the fence which makes it extremely secure. There are massive forests and lakes nearby giving you lots of opportunities for forging, fishing, and trapping. One of the downsides of the drive-in movie theater is it isn't very close to many good looting locations so you may have to use a bit more fuel than in some of the other options in this video. This location will take a highly skilled craftsperson to fully develop. However, for the patient, it has its upsides. For those that are more gutsy and really want some potential for action, south of the military checkpoint, there is a warehouse that is very similar to the warehouse in Riverside. The pros are, it's near a river, there are less zombies than inside the safe zone that the military built around Louisville, and it's close proximity to the military checkpoint, which means you may be able to find some decent guns and gear for your use if, or rather when, you decide to venture a bit further north past the checkpoint. A few hot spots around this location are the You Store It self-storage lot to the south a bit further, the Academy which may hold a few skilling books, the gas station to the north a bit, and the train yard which looks like it has a few smaller warehouses. The train yard is mostly fenced in as well which may be a good option for base if you decide to clear it out and plug up the holes that lead into Louisville proper. Did I miss your favorite location? Let me know in the comments below which location or locations you choose for your hideout. Make sure you subscribe so you stay up to date on more potential basing locations in the future. Stay safe out there survivors and until next time.